Let me teach it to you. The first part of mouth power is no negative verbal manifestation. Everybody has negative thoughts. <laughs> the difference between the winners and the losers is the people who are winning and the people who are blessed and the people that are walking it are people who keep their mouth from verbalizing the negative thoughts. Have negative thoughts, but do not speak them. Be careful what your mouth say. There are many of you right now who are living in a negative environment that you have spoke into existence. You said what you can't do and you can't do it. You spoke it. You said, I can't go back to school and your behind is uneducated. You said, I don't like to read and you don't like to read. <laughs> you said, don't nobody like me and you know what? Don't nobody like you. <laughs> <laughs> good confession is you agree with God. It's agreement with God. It's a good confession. Even if I don't feel it yet, don't mean I haven't received it. It just hasn't manifested itself yet. Get a good confession. I, Lord, I want to thank you for the job you have for me. You may still be unemployed, but you better get a good confession in your mouth. Lord, you said that everything I put my hand to do will prosper. Lord, you said that nothing shall by any means hurt me or harm me. God, you said that you'd make a way. Lord, you said that you'd make me the head and not the tail. Lord, you said that you would bless me going in and coming out. So you, you better get a good confession. You better say the same thing God says. You find a word to stand on and you confess it. Just because you don't feel it yet don't mean you can't speak it. I mean, what you have to lose? Why not? Why not speak the positive instead of speaking the negative? Since the future is fictional, why don't you confess a future that's positive? <laughs> you now can open up your mouth and you can confess things, and if you confess things enough, they will become real to you. I'm trying to get you to get an understanding and understand that your mouth has power. Death and life is in the power of your mouth. And if you can get a good confession, if you can just speak what you need to be, and I want you to make a commitment. I want you to examine yourself and take a look at your weaknesses and start confessing something against it. You got to get your mouth together. It doesn't matter how much we bless you. If you are going to drop word grenades inside yourself, your shields won't work if you blow yourself up from within. Make a commitment with your mouth that you will watch what you say. Never cease to pray. Do what's right day by day. Hold to his hand. Let him be your man. You'll be ready when he comes.